Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farms. Today, I want to share with you how to grow and harvest sunflowers for your cut flower garden. And you know, aren't sunflowers just the most cheerful flower? I have a smile on my face just thinking about their beautiful blooms. So let's get started by talking about how to grow these easy care flowers. Sunflowers should be planted in full sun once all danger of frost has passed. To get a jump start on the season, you can start seeds indoors two to three weeks before your last frost. Be careful not to start these seeds too early because they grow quite fast and resent becoming root bound in a container. I have a lot of squirrels, birds, and bunnies on our farm, and they want the sunflower seeds and newly sprouted plants just as much as I do. So I start all my suns inside under lights. If you prefer to plant your seeds directly into the garden, you can also protect them from critters by covering freshly seeded beds with frost cloth and anchoring the corners down with heavy stones or landscape staples to keep the birds away until the plants have had a chance to root in. Sunflowers are not picky about soil type. Almost any average soil will suffice. Be sure to water them in well when you plant them and keep them watered for their first 10 days of life. After that, these guys can pretty much survive without you. They are heat and drought tolerant, taking all the elements in stride. How you space your sunflowers is dependent on the variety of sunflower you're growing. There are two types of sunflowers, branching and non-branching. Branching types get quite large and produce an abundance of blooms over a long period of time. They should be spaced 18 to 24 inches apart. Succession sow these types every three to four weeks from spring through midsummer. Now, single stem sunflowers produce one flower per seed. They have a fast bloom time and have long straight stems. It's best to place these varieties close together so that you don't end up with stems so thick that they're unable to be worked into arrangements. For smaller bouquet size blooms, space plants six inches apart. To increase your profits, Make sure to succession sow single stem sunflowers. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? They should be sown about every 10 days throughout the spring and early summer for a steady supply of cuts. Now, whether you choose branching or non-branching, be sure to choose pollenless varieties when planting and harvesting as cut flowers. Sunflower pollen can and will ruin anything from antique tablecloths to bridal gowns. But there are so many pollenless varieties that I'm sure you'll find one to make your heart happy. Some of my personal favorites are the Pro Cut series, Joker, Chocolate, Strawberry Blonde, and Sun Rich Gold. This year, I'm trialing some new varieties called Peach Passion, Ruby Eclipse, and Chianti. I can't wait to see how they perform. Harvest your sunflowers as soon as the first petals on a sunflower bloom start to open and strip off all the leaves except for the leaf closest to the flower for the longest space life. Harvesting at this time will prevent insect damage to the petals. On branching varieties, Make the cut at the base of the stem being cut. No flower preservative is needed in the water. Single stem varieties hold 10 to 14 days in the vase, and most branching varieties will hold for five to seven days. Now that you have a bucket of big, cheerful blooms, all that's left to do is cut, arrange, and enjoy their beauty all season long. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing some of the sunflowers I grow here at North Lawn Flower Farm and that these tips were helpful. Until next time, happy gardening! Bye!